This improv story is based on the idea a man buys ice lolly. Oh, the story commence. Craig was roasting and wanted to buy an ice lolly. He said to his girlfriend, Mary, I want to fancy an ice lolly. And she went, well, I'm, I'm just going to pop it in the shops. What does he want? Get something, get something nice. Get something nice. What like? Well, a good one. What like? Just no one of the shite ones, one of the good ones. All right. So she went in. And she brought out like a real like this new one. It was a Magnum dark chocolate triple caramel choc chip salty triple triple Magnum Magnum Magnum. And the sort of got together with Cornetto and Vianetta. They got together to make like a kind of super group ice cream. It was about, it was like kind of like one of the ice lollies to begin with. You go, like, that's too big. But it's a bit like a big phone. Look at the fucking sight, that's ridiculous, but once you start using it, you're like, this is fucking, it's actually good having a bigger screen. I mean, it's, it's kind of feels a bit daft pulling out, but you get used to it. Like that, or a big telly, if you get yourself a bigger telly than you've ever had before. <laughs> Looks a bit too big, <laughs> Looks a bit too big for the living room, it's a bit embarrassing. And then before you know it, you went bigger. It's not big enough. That was what this ice lolly was like. Fucking hell, I'm not... He's embarrassed. There you go. He was embarrassed. Okay, look like that, right? Doesn't know what a lolly is. That's a, that's a lolly. That's a type of lolly. The stick. With the thing on it. That's a lolly. Right? It's an ice cream. He's not, no, 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 no. A fucking ice lot. Fuck off. No, no, no. I'm not a lollipop. And not just ice cream. That's an ice lolly. There's an ice pole. And then you've got things that are like, like actually like ice. And then you've got a kind of ice cream thing that's on a stick. Use a fucking daft. Use a daft. Ice lolly. No, just the, the first pictures that pop up here. Don't count. Ice pop. It's American. That's American. That's American. Right. There's your icy type. Right. Icy. Icy type. And then you got this. Oh, look. Is a Magnum an ice cream or ice lolly? Right. I would say it's like ice. Yes. Icy. And then this is more like kind of ice cream on a stick. Right. Um, right. So everyone's furiously arguing about it. Right. Right. Here we go. Britain's top five ice lollies. Look at the fucking ads everywhere, look. Right, and then somebody went, wait a minute. Magnum's not a lolly, it's a chalk ice. See if I asked somebody to get us an ice lolly and they came back with a fucking Magnum. Do you think I would say, no, no, that to me is an ice lolly, that's not to say that the other ones that are on the ice creamy are, are actually more like frozen, like a frozen liquid if you know what I mean, are uh, not ice lollies, it's a type of, uh, for me it's a type of ice lolly. 
I might be wrong, but that's just the way it is, all right? And that's the way they were in the story. So he's eating this, uh, I go, I go, gonna get us a chalk ice. Get us a chalk ice. What kind? Mm, maybe a magnum. You just don't ask for that. Gonna get us an, gonna get us ice cream. Get us ice cream when you're out. Get ice cream. And they bring out, like, they bring out a tub of ice, a tub of ice cream. No, like a magnum. That smell like an ice lolly. No, it's no. That's a chalk ice. Ice, as far as I'm concerned, ice cream. There you got your ice part. Lolly stick. Ice lolly. Um, a chalk ice has no stick. That's right. That's right. Anyway. So Craig took the wrapper off this mag the Magnum Cornetto Vianetta uh, combination. Super group. And it was actually called Super Group. Have you seen the adverts? Really, really funny. It's three guys like sort of dancing about. And they're like really bad singers. And they're dancing about. Not every super group is super. But this is. And it does that. It's really, really funny just how bad they are at singing and dancing. Really, really funny advert. Love seeing it. It was like that size. It was the size of a... Not as big as a pineapple. About the size of... About the same volume as a big grapefruit. And I say volume, no shape. If you think about that, you know, a grapefruit's like fucking chunky. Take that, but then squeeze it into the shape of like a kind of magnum. Big. Um, and he went like that. Fucking hell, man. And he started, started eating it and it's fucking amazing. And it had layer, all these different layers. Like you take a bite and it's got different uh, different layers. Like um, you know, like if you dig down to you know, like a geological sort of dig to see all the different uh, ages and all that. You know, like right, we can see from this this these deposits here. This is a Jurassic period. You know that type of thing. It was like that stratification. I like really unbelievable. He's like, fuck me, this is good. And and it's the texture as well. There'd be a crunchy bit in the inside and it'd break through into a kind of molten bit. And, 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 and Craig was like, how did, how did he even make this? How did he make it? How did he put a solid sort of harder thing on a softer thing? How did he have like a caramel layer and then put a chocolate hardened layer in it and then another one? How What's the process? How'd you get to the liquidy stuff to like stick there, stay there while we put the It was like a holiday, you know, we're in holiday. Uh if you once you really relax into a holiday, you start thinking. Trivial thoughts like Why do your fingers get wrinkly again? What is that? Or wee things like I wonder how many types of clouds are there? Cause you got because you've got the clouds with different names and all that. You know, like, you stop thinking and worrying about things, maybe, and then you start to think about stupid wee things, because you've got, you're just, your mind's just like. So what, what speed is this? What? So we're travelling at, what, like 30,000 miles an hour or something, or the planet? Is the planet moving? Is the solar system moving? You know, you start thinking about wee things like that. He was having almost a holiday with this ice lolly or, or magnum thingy that he was going like that. How is it you make something like that anyway? That's how good it was. And see, Craig, he had a lot of stress. He's a lot of worries. And he said to Mary, how is it you think they make that? That's amazing, by the way. How is it you think they make that? And she was greeting. 
He went, you're right, Mary. Is everything all right? And, he, and she said, no, these aren't tears of sadness. They're tears of joy. He went, how, what? Just because I'm liking a nice lolly? She went, I've not seen you this happy for about 10 years. To see you just talking about how they make an ice lolly rather than talking about work and everything else. <sighs> it was worth it. It's a really good ice lolly. Very worth what? The price. Oh, is it quite pricey? It is quite big. Well, how much? Mary, how, how much? They were skint, by the way. That was one of his worries. How much? Just finish your lolly. And he hadn't finished it. He said, well, I can't now. I'm worried now. She's like, I should have waited. I should have waited until you'd finished it then told you. I just wanted you to enjoy something and then get told. I, 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 I need to know now. I need to know now. She's like, just have the lolly and enjoy it and I'll tell you. It was the... It, or it'll tell you. It was... It was two pounds. Two quid! Oh, oh, that's good. Oh, I thought you were going to say a lot more than that. That's good. And he went back to enjoying it. She was still greeting. But now she really, she was like this now. <laughs> but he had his lot. He didn't, he didn't recognise that that wasn't the tears of joy anymore. So he was really enjoying a lolly. And he got to the end of it. And she was like, <laughs> He gave him a cuddle. <laughs> it's alright, it, it was a good lolly and only two quid, that's amazing I might get myself another one, she went out, was it? it was the what? two quid? no how much was it? <laughs> it was the two quid, you said it was I lied I just wanted to see you enjoy it Mary, how much? You really want to know? Just tell me. It cost... <laughs> 12 grand! No! You're going to get him your card! No! You know, I pay him. If I don't pay him, he says he's going to take my fingers! No! Twelve grand. Twelve thousand pounds. And they had to walk every fucking hour God sends. It took them twenty years to pay off the price of that fucking lolly. And then they had to get rid of paying off the fucking debt they were already in. They had accumulated 20 years of interest having not been paid. And Craig went like that. Mary, I'm thinking I just... I'm thinking I just chucking it. I'm thinking I just chucking it. Just going to chuck in the towel. I can't hear it. This isn't a life worth living. She said, well, what's the point in fucking paying it off for 20 years just to fucking chuck it and fucking day yourself in? It doesn't make any sense. No sense at all. He said, well, maybe I should have done my selling when you bought that fucking lolly. And she said, you know what? Let's just go down in a blaze of glory. He said, what are you on about? She said, let's just fucking rob everywhere for all the lollies. And so they went about like Bonnie and Clyde robbing all these places and eating all the Magnum Cornetto Viennetta mashups until the police 
Well, like it was like five stars in fucking uh, GTA. Coming down half a helicopters and they just were like, come out. And they went like that. They were ready to eat the last lolly and they looked at each other. And they went like that, you know, pointed it like it was a gun. Like that, deliberately. And honestly, they were like this. <laughs> It's like they weren't even there. They're obliterated. A cloud of blood. Just a cloud of blood. Just went away. And a cloud drifted through there. Until it reached an ice cream van. Here's your ice cream wee man. Oh, do you want some raspberry ripple on it? And the wee boy looked in and all that blood went on it. He went, you've already gave me some. And the ice cream guy went, oh, I saw him. Oh, yes. I'm, for I'm forgetting. <laughs> He's away. <laughs> Got to give us up. <laughs> the end. He said, my heat's away, I've got to gear this up. <laughs> Some part on him. <laughs> That's a true story. All 100% true. 100% true. How do I know? But you don't believe me. I used to work in Vianetta and I was in charge of PR and marketing and feedback to see how it went down. So we placed some hidden cameras in various shops and things like that to see the reaction. Um, and we saw that whole thing happen. And then I got a crew to sort of film them and, you know, a kind of fly in the wall documentary without them knowing it. Kind of Truman Show like. But we were going to give them a lot of money to say, listen, we've been actually making a documentary about you without your knowledge. If you just sign these papers, you're going to get like 50 million quid because this is a hit. Netflix want it. Um, and then we're going, to, we're going to give them it. And then we saw that we're going to do this thing that's going to get them killed. And we had a dilemma. We thought they're gonna they're gonna get themselves killed. We thought, well, let them get get themselves killed, because then we won't have to pay them. We can pocket all that money. So that's it. So we, but we're gonna we could have gave them the money to get them out of the debt, but what an ending. And then we went to get ice cream after it at this ice cream van, and um. I was in the queue, that wee boy. I saw the whole thing happen, the blood come in and everything. And I actually said to the, the guy, the ice cream guy, see what you said about how you're getting old, you have to give this up. I think you should admit that, I mean, if you're forgetting that you've just gave that wee boy kind of, you know, the kind of red raspberry sauce or whatever the fuck it is on the ice cream, next you'll be forgetting, you know, how to, how to drive. You're going to start crashing into cunts, do you know what I mean? Um... I'd get up if I was you, and he stopped driving, and it, and it broke his heart, getting up the van. I did that out of badness. Right. <laughs> I did that, I just did that for a wee giggle. you got to get these wee giggles here and there. you got to. I did it out of badness. 